OpenAI has introduced six exciting new features for ChatGPT to make your conversations even more engaging and accurate. And in this video, I will guide you through each one and trust me, some will truly surprise you. Okay, one standout feature is prompt examples. These are sample prompts crafted to lead you into engaging dialogues with ChatGPT. They touch upon popular topics and areas that users often enjoy or request. For instance, you can use them to have ChatGPT tell a joke, summarize an article, or even create a meme. They span various domains like entertainment, education, business, and science. Think of these prompts as a source of inspiration, a foundation for your own questions, or even a base to create more intricate scenarios. The next feature I want to talk about is Suggested Replies. It offers dynamic and relevant response options based on your previous messages, making conversations more engaging. For instance, if you ask ChatGPT for a love poem, it might provide options like praising the poem, criticizing it, or requesting another one. And these suggested replies are not just for feedback. They allow you to change the conversation's tone or even test ChatGPT's logic with challenging replies. The third feature I want to talk about is GPT-4 as the default model. As a Plus user, when you start a new chat, the system will recall the model you used last, so you won't automatically switch back to GPT-3.5. And also, the message allowance for Plus users has been increased from 25 to 50 messages every three hours. Next up, we have some updates about the code interpreter. While this isn't a fresh feature, it has recently been boosted with some noteworthy enhancements. One major update is the ability to upload up to 10 files to ChatGPT. So, if you have data or documents like a CSV file from an SEO tool, you can upload it to ChatGPT. Then, you can instruct it to sort, filter, visualize, or even generate summaries based on that data. It's a handy tool for tasks like marketing analysis and data processing, and it can also be a way to learn or refine coding skills by seeking assistance or feedback from ChatGPT. The fifth new update is the enhanced login experience, which boosts security, but also makes logging in more convenient. One key improvement is the extended login duration. So instead of logging in every week or two, or in some cases, every time you use ChatGPT, you can now remain logged in for up to 30 days, unless you choose to log out or clear your browser data. The updated login screen offers a sneak peek of ChatGPT before you sign in. You'll see a sample conversation and get a look at the latest updates and capabilities. And honestly, this approach just reflects how big is OpenAI's commitment to user-friendly design and satisfaction. The last feature I want to discuss is ChatGPT Keyboard Shortcuts, allowing you to quickly perform common actions using only your keyboard. These shortcuts boost your productivity when using ChatGPT. For instance, I frequently use Control, Shift, and C to copy a code block from ChatGPT when I need to save or share the generated code. Another one I often use is Control and Slash, which brings up the list of shortcuts during a conversation, helping me to check or adjust the ones I've set. Now, as you all know, ChatGPT is not the only AI chatbot in the market. There are many other competitors that offer similar or different features and functionalities. We've got Bard, Claude AI, Meta's Llama 2, and others. They're all great in their own way. But here's the thing. ChatGPT has some advantages that make it kind of special. Firstly, it's built on GPT-4, which is still the most advanced foundation model in the world. Then, there's how easy and fun it is to use ChatGPT. Features like code interpreter, plugins, and now these new features are making big difference. And I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I find ChatGPT's interface way more intuitive and user-friendly compared to the rest. All right, I hope you found this video useful. If so, please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my channel for more updates on AI. I've got great content coming up. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.